As we celebrate Women's History Month and women making a difference, we turn to Jamie Kern Lima, founder of It Cosmetics, former Denny's waitress, now billionaire. She's the author of Believe It, How to Go from Underestimated to Unstoppable. It's for every person who's really like struggling with self-doubt. Um, who knows they're made for more, like maybe they have a deep idea inside that they want to create or or launch a business or go after the dream or start painting again or put themselves in the online dating world, right? We all kind of have those inklings that there's more we want to do, but then sometimes we let our own self-doubt talk us out of our dreams or talk us out of our truth. So I believe it's really for, for any person on their own journey of, of learning how to go from not believing themselves to believing in themselves and trusting themselves and, and knowing they're enough. It's so raw and real, some of the stuff you're sharing, but I love that. Can you elaborate on why you wanted to make sure to include that rawness and realness? Yeah, I think it's so important. Like why I wrote Believe It is to, you know, when you Google my story, right? You read, oh, wow, waitress builds billion dollar company. And every single day I get so many messages, um, especially from women and DMs on Instagram everywhere saying like, oh, you know, congrats. It sounds like you had a fairy tale story, but for me, I'm struggling or I'm getting rejection or this or that. And I realize if we don't ever really share the raw, the real, the stories behind the stories, then everyone feels alone in, in their own struggles or their own setbacks or their own self-doubt. And so, you know, part of why I wrote Believe It is to share the, all the real stuff. <laughs> I think so many of us learn sometimes way too late in life that, that our setbacks can actually be our setups for what we're supposed to do. And, you know, in the middle of anchoring the news, I would hear from my producer, there's something on your face or something on your face. And I developed rosacea, which is a skin condition, bright red, bumps everywhere, um, and no makeup would work for it. And uh, I went through a big season of self-doubt of thinking, am I going to get fired? Am I, you know, all those things. But then I got this strong gut feeling that if I could figure out how to, well, first of all, let go of one dream, right? Sometimes knowing when to let go of a dream is as important as knowing when to go after a dream. And I talk about like, how do you know those things? Um, and how do you get still and hear your own gut and your own intuition? I talk a lot about that and believe it. Um, but I made that decision to, to hear my own gut and it kept saying, Jennifer, it kept saying, you're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do this, right? And I think so many times in life, we let our head talk ourselves out <laughs> of our truth, of our calling, of our knowing, of our purpose. And, and when I look back at so many mistakes I've made, which are so many, they're usually when I listen to someone else instead of, instead of my own gut. Um, and in that moment though, I, I made the decision to, to hear my gut, to trust it and launch it cosmetics in my living room. Um, I didn't know how hard it was going to be. I spent three years of not being able to pay myself of hearing no from almost every beauty retailer out there. Um, hearing that I needed to change my, my package, my product, that I needed to use models with perfect skin. And I'm like, but I don't have perfect skin. I have rosacea. I want to. I, I want to shift culture in the beauty industry and use models that are every age and skin tone and skin type and skin challenge and try to redefine beauty. And so I kind of talk a lot about what happens when someone tells you you're not enough or they don't believe in your dream. And you know, instead of giving up, how do you hear your own truth and keep going? The challenges are real, right? With anything that you accomplish, you're gonna face these challenges. And that's what I love about your, what I'm listening to so far, the persistence. I like the quote you mentioned, know your why, then fly, girl, fly. You have two ch children, correct? Are you applying yeah. all of this into motherhood as well? You know, I'm working on it. Yeah, I I am. I, I feel like it's a lifelong journey, right? I am. Um, I'm working on it, and I'm working on myself too. You know, I talk so much in the book about even as adults, we're so used to taking care of everyone else, but it's so important, I think, for any mom, any sister, any daughter, any partner, any dad, <laughs> to to really go. Oh wow, let me figure out um, how I work on myself. One thing I'm so grateful for about 
launching Believe It into the world right now is that so many people need to like reignite that light again inside of them and and so many people need hope and inspiration and to learn to believe in themselves again. 100% of the proceeds from the book are being donated um, to Feeding America and Together Rising. Yeah, so I'm purely doing this because I think all of us right now is especially like need to ignite our light, <laughs> need to come together, need to learn to believe in ourselves and and um, and step into all of, of who we are and all of who we're born to be. Can you look back and say, this is real. Do you believe it? You know, what's <laughs> happened to your journey looking back? Yeah, I am. Um, when I was waitressing at Denny's, I don't know if I could have ever imagined that I would <laughs> have created a billion dollar company with over a thousand employees. But what I did know was that I had this inkling inside of me of like, oh, I, I like God gave me something I, I can give or serve or offer. And I feel like that's inside of all of us. I hope this book is a source of inspiration for everyone. 